everyone, it's Evelyn and thank you for stopping by. Today I am unboxing this American Girl package containing several new outfits and some accessories. I'll show you a closer look at the items, let you know my thoughts, and show you some of my dolls dressed in their new outfits. I have a lot of them to go through today, so cozy up, grab your favorite beverage, and let's talk about American Girl. I'm so excited about this package because I purchased some things that I've had on my wish list for a while. If I've learned anything after coming back to AG after a long hiatus, it's to purchase the things that I love directly from AG because resale prices have been astronomical lately. In this package, I have the yoga outfit that I've been eyeing and I finally got it because now it shows as limited quantities on the website. I grabbed a few mix and match skirts, including the reversible one from the Frosty Frills collection. Maybe they found some old stock, but I'm not complaining because I missed out on it originally. With this order, I purchased Isabel's accessories and Nikki's pajamas, as I already have Nikki's accessories and Isabel's pajamas. After this, I only have one more outfit to purchase from the collection, and at that point, I'll be posting a review. AG had both the Peru and England World Traveler outfits on sale, so I figured I would snag them at this price to complete my World Traveler outfit collection. And lastly, I purchased Melody's Daisy outfit, which is my first piece from her collection. I'm really excited to get more. I'm not sure if I'll get Melody, but her collection is so cute. First, I'm going to open Isabel's accessories. I wasn't originally going to get these, but I ended up getting Nikki's accessories and really liked them. I was unsure about them, mostly because I'm not a fan of the beret style hat, but honestly, I can be a bit of a completionist when it comes to my collecting. And as a mom of two girls myself, my heart has a hard time getting something for one sister, but not the other. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this hat, but I do like that they included the pins on it and I can see it being Isabelle's style. Next up, we have this sticker set, which I don't think I'm actually going to use, but it's a pretty cute addition. And next is her bag, and honestly, it kind of feels and looks like something that I would get on Timu or Shein. It's not the worst quality, but definitely looks and feels cheap. I suppose that the cheap look kind of does come from it just being a clear bag, but um, it's still kind of not what I was expecting. Next is her beaded flower necklace, which is so much better quality than Nikki's choker, which is essentially just a ribbon with a charm on it. The beaded necklace is something that I would have worn back in the day, and although I wore chokers too, it was always one of those stretchy tattoo chokers. You guys probably know what I'm talking about if you grew up in the 90s and 2000s. Um, here we have a small version of her journal, although it's not a complete mini book, as there's going to be blank pages at the end. And lastly are her sunglasses. These are so cute, and I love how they have the pink lenses. The color is so pretty, and it fits so well with Isabel's general aesthetic. Next up, we have Nikki's pajamas, or rather her sleep shirt and slippers. I've seen some talk online about how it's disappointing that this is just a sleep shirt, but as a 90s kid myself, this is pretty much all I would wear to bed, although I definitely would have called it a nightgown. Um, I don't like the price for it though, since it's just a nightgown, but I do love this pajama set. I especially love these slippers because I loved fuzzy animal slippers when I was a kid, so these monkey ones are such a fun, nostalgic touch. The fabric of the pajamas themselves is a nice soft cotton jersey, which is much better than the material on Isabel's pajamas. If you have Nikki, it's the same fabric as her meat shirt and dress. I also like that we've got that black detailing. It's like black ribbon and it matches her choker. The outfit also includes this cute little Mad Libs style pamphlet, which I love. This reminds me of all the giggling my siblings and I used to do while filling these out. And here is Melody's Daisy outfit, which, as I mentioned, is my first piece from her collection. I hadn't considered this one initially, but after seeing it photographed on AGIG, I was able to see how versatile it is and how perfect it is for spring. One of my favorite things about AGIG is seeing real life pictures of American Girl dolls in their collections because stock photos never seem to do any of it justice. 
The dress itself is a nice material. It feels like cotton and has no stretch to it. The color is very bright, yellowish lime green, maybe closer to a highlighter yellow, with inverted pleats and little fabric daisies on the bottom. The flowers are the type of material that you see on the cheapest artificial flowers at Hobby Lobby. The Mary Jane shoes have a bit of shine to them and they match the dress perfectly. And perhaps one of my favorite parts are the socks. <laughs> the detailing is so pretty on these and I love their high rise. I'm a huge fan of this outfit. I love that the dress is timeless. It works for Melody in the 1960s, but can also be worn by my modern dolls. I definitely would highly recommend this one. Next is the yoga outfits. This one is $36, which makes it only $4 more than Covey's yoga outfit, but it includes the yoga mat. It's in limited quantities on AG's website, which makes me wonder if it's being retired. So I wanted to snag it while I still could. I really like this one, even though it's bright pink. I think that the blue pink combination is really pretty in person. First, we have the yoga mat. It's made out of foam and has a strong foam smell to it. So if you're sensitive to smell, it's something that I wanted to note for you. It has a cute coordinating carry strap so your doll can pose carrying her mat on the way to class. As cute as this is, the material does scratch very easily, which is something to keep in mind. And although it isn't a huge deal to me, I think that it could wear down easily during play with kids. Next is this amazing cardigan. It's made of a nice material and it reminds me of bamboo viscose or rayon. It's soft, buttery, and cool to the touch and my favorite material for real life clothing. I think this piece would work really well as a mix and match piece too. The tank top appears to be made of a cotton jersey material, just like a normal t-shirt, and it says, dream big, shine bright, and just breathe, which is very on brand for AG. I do appreciate that the graphic is subtle and neutral, so it doesn't clash with the bold print of the pants. These leggings are a lot cuter than I thought they would be. I'm actually really loving the leopard print, which I wasn't expecting. These are such good quality. They're made of a nice and thick spandex type material and have a really good stretch to them. Honestly, the whole outfit reminds me of a workout set that I would buy to try to motivate me to work out. That's how cute it is. I really like the pop of teal blue at the bottom of the pant leg. It's details like this that really set American Girl's quality apart from other brands. Lastly, we have this pink headband in the same color as the cardigan. Included in the box is a little pamphlet that has a quiz. What kind of teammate are you? Next is the World Traveler in England outfit. And had it not been on sale, I probably wouldn't have gotten this one yet. Just by looking at the stock photos, I had determined it was my least favorite out of all of the World Traveler outfits. Although I didn't think it was very cute, I can be a bit of a completionist when it comes to sets like this, so I went for it and I'm actually very glad I did. After seeing it in real life, I really like it. The hat isn't my favorite and I don't tend to use hats anyway, but it's made very well and I like the texture of the material. These boots are a nice classic black with some glitter in them. I love that these could pair with most outfits. You can never really have enough basic staples. Next is the dress. It's great quality. The bodice is lined with some sort of crinkly material though, which I'm not really quite sure what it's called, but I'm not a fan of the crinkly noise that it makes. If you haven't been able to tell yet by my descriptions, I'm very sensitive to texture and I'm not a fan of this one. However, the dress is actually pretty cute overall. I'm enjoying the pattern more than I thought I would, and I do love the cut of the dress. And of course, we have some socks which is something else you can never have enough of. I probably wouldn't have included blue socks with this outfit if I were American Girl, but I do like them as a separate piece. The belt is a nice gold color that matches the detailing on the dress, and it's a real belt loop, which might be difficult for kids to put on, but it's a detail that I really appreciate as an adult. And lastly, there is a booklet that has some interesting facts about England. My second world traveler outfit of this haul is another one that I got because it was on sale. And again, it absolutely blew me away with how beautiful it is in person. As soon as I pulled it out, I realized I absolutely love it. The colors are vibrant and go very well together and the embroidery detail on the front is my favorite part about it. 
There's also some ribbon and coordinating colors at the bottom of the dress and some bright pink tassels. The fabric itself is very nice and lightweight. If you have Nanea's collection, it's the same type of fabric as her pajamas, or if you have Julie, her current birthday dress. I'm not sure how I feel about the shoes though. Um, on one hand, the pom-poms do coordinate well with the hat, but on the other hand, these shoes could have been used for other outfits too had they been left off. And just look at these adorable socks. These are thicker than the other socks I've opened up so far, and they have a beautiful pattern on them that coordinates well with the outfit instead of clashing with it. The quality is outstanding on them, and they are unexpectedly one of my favorite parts of the outfits. The hat is a nice style and one that I can actually see myself using. It's very similar to Courtney's pink hat um, or Julie's birthday hat, for example, and it's made of the same felt material as a lot of the hats AG has out right now. Although it is felt, it is very sturdy. And just like all world traveler outfits, you have a booklet that introduces you to some facts about the country. Bienvenida a Peru. Next up, we have this twice as nice skirt from the Frosty Frills collection. I was so excited to see this on the last chance outlet because I missed out on this collection initially and I think it's one of the cutest mix and match sets they've ever released. When I took the skirt out of the package, I noticed that it is actually much softer than it looks. It's thick, soft, and buttery feeling. I love that it's reversible and neutral and the tool is soft and stretchy instead of itchy. The last piece is the colorful confetti skirt from the current spring mix and match collection. I already have the cardigan and this is the only other piece I felt like I had to have from this collection. The collection itself is a bit too girly for me, but my daughter really loves it so I think it's spot on for the target market. I love that this is neutral enough to match well with other pieces I have and the waistband is such a pretty sparkly silver and the floral detailing on the bottom has this beautiful iridescent shimmer. Overall, I'm definitely glad I got this one. And that's all for the haul today, but I'll go ahead and show you some footage of some of my girls in their new outfits. They all look so cute in these. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for being here and watching my video. Your support and kindness on my YouTube journey so far has been so encouraging and I'm so grateful for you. If you have any feedback for me, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And if you'd like, you can hit the subscribe button so my videos show up on your feed when I post them. Until next time, take care of yourselves and we'll chat again soon. Bye guys!